for joining us. We are with Diana Troik at Desert Warriors in Scottsdale, Arizona today. She has the most fabulous place to renown at archery. And uh, Diana, so good to meet you and thank you for the invitation to be here with us. You're welcome. And then practicing, you just desensitize your horse to the sound of the arrows, to having the arrow hit a target. And once they're used to that, you can do that in a round pen. Um, then you can get on them and practice at a walk and then a trot. And there are walk, trot, canter um, clubs that hold it for younger students or anybody that doesn't want to gallop. They just want to do walk, trot. They have those and they can have competitions too. We don't actually have them here just because there's so many that come. We don't have room or time or days to do it. But as far as coming out the ranch and, and having a session once they got the knocking down and they got learned to shoot with speed on the magic machine they can bring their horse out for a lesson and we'll help desensitize them or they can do that at home and they can come and start practicing that's great so they can find you at desertwarriors.com it's yes it's com it's desertwarriors at swmountainarchery.com but if they just go on horse archery and see Desert Warriors, that's, you'll find us. They'll take you right to your yeah. website. Mm -hmm. People can get in touch with you. Yep. They can email you or call you. Yes. Okay. This is interesting. I really want to do this. And <laughs> you're so generous with your time. And you're so passionate about your horses and, and about this amount of archery that um, I think it's very infectious. Yeah. But it's. Yeah, I wanted to do that. We hope so. Most people, when they try it out there and they get the knocking down they're excited and they get them walking because once they're walking they're not thinking as much as the, the muscle memory shoot practicing and they're just shooting and it's a little bit more exciting and then when they get on the magic machine they don't want to stop they want to and the nice thing about that is if it's hot here in the desert in the summer we don't work our horses to death we can do that all day long and it's fun and it's it's training and it's just it's a blast can you see the magic machine are you ready Hi, I'm BJ. Di's 16-year partner in crime doing this. We've been friends for over 20 years. And uh, we started this archery uh, about 16 years, 15 years ago here. Um, we started over in another ranch, but she found this property and we looked for a very long time. And we found this. And it was just as you see in the distance with all the, the foliage and the cactus and the trees and everything. That's how this whole place looked because it was virgin land. And uh, she has great vision. We cleared it and the f horses came in first. We did the pasture and, and our target course. We got that ready and then the horses ready. And uh, then we went to work and boy did she work on me. I mean, she's amazing. She's an amazing woman and I'm very privilege and honor to be able to work with her all these years. But again, as you're watching her in the background there, a rhythm is going. And when we teach our students, um, they always want to know, you guys draw so fast, how can I get faster at this? And it's a very simple solution to do that. Sit on your sofa at night while you're watching TV or whatever, and just start drawing from your quiver. And put a blanket on the floor, probably not a good idea to shoot into the walls and release those arrows into that blanket and before you know it you're going to be doing that without looking at your hands and that's what the secret is to being a good shot and doing this and um, uh, you know getting your speed up don't look at your fingers so if you watch us when we're going down the track you know your arms are up here you're firing your face is always at that target always at that target so you don't drop your arm, you don't drop your shoulders, you're right here. So arrow's going in and you're looking into that target all the way through, never lose focus of that. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is uh, speed shooting. And you can do that at home, like I said. And eventually you'll stop looking at your fingers because the more you look at your hands while you're loading up and you're knocking, the more you look at them, nanosecond, nanosecond goes by and you only have on a 90 meter course, you have 14 seconds or less to get down that track to make points. Okay, again, like we're talking about the rhythm of her walking and, and knocking and loading. See, knock, load, aim, shoot. 
it's all a rhythm it's all a rhythm that you have to get into and especially if you're going to move standing is one thing is not you know and uh, aim and shoot but when you're walking you have to incorporate a new movement into it and so your legs have to be incorporated with what you're doing with your arms and shooting so if you watch what she's doing that's exactly how it is she practicing left-handed now and um, in the um, on our events and our competitions on our hunt course we like to have an offside target and that's what we call that would be offside so if you're normally a right-handed shooter we will have a left-handed offside target for you to shoot and we ask that our uh, competitors instead of crossing their bodies because I'm a left-handed shooter so to cross my body and shoot we ask them not to do that